Hey yeah, swingers, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so me and Ninja today, we're out here and we're doing some prospecting. It's bright and early, it's only like 7 o'clock. Uh, we're out here because it's meant to be 35 degrees today <laughs> and we're not dealing with that. So we're out here early to do a bit of prospecting, and I mean prospecting. Uh, there is some gold in this creek, we found some before in the episode of Following in Dead's Footsteps. Uh, we did some panning, but today we're going to do some uh, detecting, just a few quick spots. And we're going to do a bit of a test pan on something as well. So, in the gutters here, there's a lot of wash. A lot of wash coming down the hill. So we're going to test one of these gutters, just out of sheer curiosity. There's a place further up with some bedrock, and we're going to hit that first and take a test pan and see what's going in that. Alright, so I was saying that there's a, a bedrock gutter, and I wasn't kidding about a bedrock gutter. Look at this, for a gutter on the side of the road. Isn't that just tasty gold catching bedrock? Alright, I just found my first target. It was a gold target, and it was in the bedrock. It's a little lead shot. I just brushed it out with a toothbrush out of there, so there's definitely targets around. Ooh, hopefully we can find a bit of gold. Let's keep swinging. Right, so as you can see, I've got a target here. I've got it moved. It was in the little crack of bedrock just here, and now it's sitting somewhere in here, so it's got a scoop. Hopefully, hopefully, that has got it. Let's move that out of the way. Check the detector. It appears so. It's the quickest way to make sure. Don't sit there trying to check with your scoop constantly. Because you'll uh, take too long getting it. So I'm just going to quickly touch this back on my chest. Thanks to the strap on my bag. I believe that lump there might be a piece of lead, I believe. That's it, piece of lead. But if they're stopping in there, that might be a good spot to check for, for gold. Alright, so I got another little target just here. Possible gold, probably lead. Let's see what we've got. You can hear Ninja's got a whopping target over there. So, it's going to get a bit of a light scrape. Hopefully it hasn't gone back into that little crevice just there. We'll find out shortly though. We got it. So, what have we got? So I'm just going to have to clip you on my bag again. Half of my hand, still in the scoop. Uh, I'll try and set myself up in a better spot so you can see the coil and everything at the same time. Oh, everything's fighting me right now. So I can go back there. In the scoop, I'd say it's that lump there. Looks like another lump of lead. And that's exactly what it is. So, no gold just yet. But we'll see what the pan shows up, eh? Let's keep swinging anyway and suss it out. Uh, I won't spend too much longer here, we'll move on to the actual proper bedrock in the creek line that we wanted to investigate. Not this, this is just another, another spot we thought it's worth checking. Swing it up. Alrighty swingers, so we're really excited right now. We've had a lot of floods recently. I mean a lot, a lot of floods. And uh, this is a location that me and Ninja found our best of, best day ever, Graham Each. In this crevice here, 
is where I pulled my gram in a day all the way up to this point well, it was just a little sorry it was just a bit past but as you can see that's our original ground level and these bits of bedrock was clean absolutely clean the floods are replenished so we're going to check our spots again and see what we can find all right so they've been scraping for literally one minute and if you look right there right there it's a bit of vg at my fingertip unfortunately i don't have my tweezers actually let me grab my handy dandy little shovel spoon and we'll just scoop it up on the shovel Got it. And I'll put the shovel here. The miniature little shovel. These are actually teaspoons. And they're really good for making a good coffee. Really good. There you go. Nice little bit of VG to start the day. Beautiful. Let's keep panning. I'll clean this crevice out and I'll show you more VG if I find it. Back to you soon. Alright, so my first pan down in a 10 inch pan. Uh, they were from the signals that I had. I don't know if that was a signal, but we'll take that back to the detector and find out soon. But two pieces in the first pan. And I still have a classifier full of material to clean up now, so I'll just suck these out. And these are not including the little picker, the VG piece that I picked up before and put in my snuffer bottle. Back to you shortly. Alrighty, swing it. So, this is all the blue clays that I've just cleaned up. As you can see, I've cleaned it down to very minimal. Let's get rid of the large rocks. Now once again I'm only using a 10 inch pan. Uh, the reason I do this is I can test a bit more and as well as that it saves my shoulder with a pinched nerve in my neck. I don't have to worry about too much weight and I can pan a hell of a lot more during the day. And as you can see I've got a lead shot showing up there and just underneath that rock so I'll take that out so we've got it for later. Nice little picker. Uh, now my last pan I had three little bits I reckon I can pick that one up. Yep, just nice little flake of gold. Very nice. So, I'll suck that up and we'll go back and get some more pans and see what more colour we can find. Got it. Mmm, delicious. So hungry. Don't forget to eat while you're prospecting. It can whoop your butt out in the sun if you don't eat and drink. Keep up on the fluids and the foods, and you'll be able to go for a whole day. Just like we do. That's how we do it. Back to you soon. I'm gonna eat this. Cheese is a bit sweaty, but that's, that's what happens in summer. Alrighty, so as you can see, I've punched a hole. I've used a little tiny crevice pump and I've filled it up three times, emptied twice into that, the rest was hand loaded from the hole. I'm down in the deep crevice and it goes in under with that shelf of bedrock sitting right on top of it. So that's what this pan's got in it. What do you know, I've just rocked up to the mallet heap. Bit of a scratchy target but it could be gold or it could be a bit of lead, I'll find out and get back to you shortly. Alrighty, so I've just been scraping that little section there as you can see, very slowly working it. It's not even going to show up on the detected moment. But there's a tiny little target in my scope, I mean tiny. So I'll just unplug, I'll turn the headphones off for a sec. I should be able to hear this through the speaker. It's giving me gold numbers, so I don't know what we've got, but I do know that we've found bit of gold on this mullet before so could be anything here's that little bit there no I don't see anything obvious maybe we'll do the see what remains in there Okay, looks like the target's still in there. I just don't see it. So let me get two hands on this and I'll get the target out and show you what it actually is. 
Oh no, there it is, it's gold. Look at that. Little tiny piece of gold with the Equinox. You bloody ripper. I thought there was gold around. So I'm just gonna rub that in my fingers. Oh, it's a nice little bit too. So we actually missed this with all the other detectors. The Equinox is what's found that. I found my first ever piece detected on my own here with the 705. And uh, we found a few bits of the SDC. And now I've just found my nice first little bit with the Nox on this Malik. And as well as that, I believe Ninja's even found a piece with the gold monster. So that's awesome. I'm going to sit here and cherry pick for a while because if there's targets like that around, I might be able to pick up a few. Let's keep swinging. I'll show you some live digs if I can. Alright, now I've actually been asked a few times what my gold settings are. So today, I'm running in uh, gold 1. Normally I have to run in gold 2. I'm just going low and slow and just really listening for really clean, repetitive targets today. So I'm using number 1 just to play with it and see how it goes. Uh, as you can see, the accept and reject, I've knocked off negative 8 and negative 9. I always do so, because they are always the tiny little hot rocks, and they are everywhere. And if I push this, the old metal button, listen to the ground now. You can imagine trying to detect through that, and they're all negative 8 9 targets. It's a bit of a gold number, but if I pop off the negative 8 and 9, See how much quieter it is? So that's how I run it, just because it's a lot easier to deal with the ground noise. Uh, if you do find you're getting a, a jumpy target, it's getting you hit every now and again, but it's also blacking out. Just simply push the all metal and go back to all metal. Settings. So noise cancel. I always automatically noise cancel. I actually forgot today, but seems it doesn't matter because it's actually very quiet in here I can run on 25 I'm on 20 just to reduce the noise of hot rocks but 25 I can go so the that is your ground balance which I'm running auto tracking people will tell you don't do that when you're doing gold but you just saw the piece that I pulled out of the ground and these are the exact settings I did it on so don't ever let anyone just say that you can't find gold with auto tracking I just found that one and it was almost an inch deep. Uh, 17 is my volume, now I've got headphones on so that I can adjust that through that to make it comfortable. I can just hear the hum of the threshold. Uh, threshold is on 9. Tones only 1 because that's what happens in gold. Accept and reject, I've dropped out negative 8 and 9. My swing speed is 3. I swing really slow when I'm going for gold so I literally am going like this. I'm not travelling very far. But as you can see, it allows me to get clean targets and spot them. So that might be a bit of gold there, actually. I'll check that in a sec. Uh, and then... No, it's this one. No, you can't FE2 on this one, I don't think. No, so there's no uh, iron discrimination. But they're my settings, so let's get in and see what else I can find. Uh, sensitivity at the moment is on 20. Let's keep swinging. Alright, literally still in the same patch. I just gave a bit of a scrape and crushed all the loose bits. Just here in the scoop. I'm not sure what it is, but we've got a few little lumps of dirt. It's not in that one. It's in this one. So, might be another bit of gold. I'm just going to leave it in the scoop. And I'll show you what I get from the surface. Now it's not wanting to pick it up, so it must be a bit of gold. I'll uh, chuck this down on the ground. Right here, you can see, I'm going to go over it with the coil. See how I'm getting positive and negatives? Think of the Equinox like a gold monster. Positive and negative means non-ferrous and ferrous. If you get the wobble pop, then that's usually a good sign that it's gold. Now, I'm going to take this, put it back in here, give it a crush. Let's see if a bit of gold doesn't just fall out for me. No, it's stuck in that. Look at that. See bits of gold off the same little patch. And this bit's a little bit nicer, I think. Still flat, but very shiny. So, as I said, auto ground tracking. Don't let anyone tell you you can't use it to find gold. 
because I just found two pieces, tiny, both with auto tracking on. Very nice. So I'm going to stick here on my, hand, uh, on my knees and just keep slowly sweeping the coil. I'll get back to you shortly. Woo! All right. Ninja's put in the coil that we want to head off, but I just got another target. Very clean again. It was a scratchy one. So this one actually popped up into the high, no, uh, high tone numbers. It was actually showing up around 39 all over the joint in the high area. So I was getting low numbers, but then occasionally I get a whop of a 34 or something like that. So I'm hoping it might be in a cluster in my hand. It is. It's a kind of surprise again, which means one of these is holding gold. I reckon it's this one. You see anything visible on them? Nothing on that one. There we go. I see a tiny piece of gold right there. Give me a sec, I'll look it. See the tiny piece just sticking through, just glinting. And watch this. So I'll put that in my hand for a second. Definitely the target, but these two I'm going to take. So I've got a little pile of stuff I'm going to take home and crush and just see if there's fine gold in it or not. Because if there's bits showing up in this stuff, who knows what it's in. So just see if it won't fall out nicely for me. No, it's still buried in stuff. Where did it go? Eyes get out of my eyes. They love getting in the eyeballs. They want your eyeball juices. It's so freaking annoying, I tell you. Where did it go? I know I've seen it. It's a tiny bit. The Nox is a freaking weapon. It just here's tiniest pieces of gold. It's still in there. Where are where? It's such a tiny piece of gold, I can't even actually see it. Wow, this is going to be a good one for a record, I think. Oh, is it in that? I don't know. Oh, wow, I might need. Oh, there we go, finally. Little tiny flat flake. Got it at my fingertips. See, it's out of the scoop. That tiny piece. Right there. Nice bit of shiny. Hell yeah, I love the Equinox. Um, yeah, such an underbraid machine, especially the Equinox 800. It really does love to pick up tiny pieces of gold and they sing. Uh, they don't always give you the same identification number, so it's not about the ID number, it's about the tone. And if it wobble pops, that's the main thing. Three pieces, right there, still a patch. You bloody ripper, I just found a patch with the Equinox. <laughs> Alrighty swingers, so as you can see, we're home. Uh, I only managed to find the three pieces of gold that day with the Equinox. These three little bits here, so we're going to chuck these on the scale. Uh, let's get open the vial. Lid's on quite tight. Uh, but yeah, that, that area, I didn't actually find all that much with the, the pans, as you can see here in the photo. I didn't find stuff all. I may as well add this one in quickly. So, if you hear that, I managed to find another little piece a few days later uh, on Australia Day, uh, right at about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, my first actual diggable target. Everything I kept hearing before that was hot rocks, so move them out, find them, and just be a hot rock. But I managed to find one teeny bit of gold, as you can see. Nice little flat reefy piece. I'm going to chuck that on the scales for you. As you can see, a nice little 0.04. So, same again, off a of mullet that we both worked many a times. Different directions, different angles. But we have had plenty of rain recently, so it could have been erosion that had actually stripped it out and cleaned it up. Made it easy for us to access, uh, but otherwise 
it just could have been one that we just missed we didn't swing over that spot not likely though uh, I think it was just one that was maybe on edge at some point and rolled over and who knows that's how we how I caught it with the knocks but quite an underrated machine it can find quite small pieces of gold now the moment I swing over a two or three gram nugget I'm gonna know about it I've already tested it and I can get it about eight inches with the air, air depth so yeah it can find it you just need to train yourself and uh, stick to it be persistent as you can see the three little bits because they're all small 0.88 uh, so very little pieces of gold not not worth a lot at all absolutely stuff all but uh, these are places that we've gone over before and use the SDC and pull decent pieces out of but we've just somehow missed these ones don't know how uh, we've been over it maybe 10 times and it's only a small mullock and we've gone back and forth and left and right and up and down in every angle we possibly can so sometimes you just miss them bit of erosion could have been someone else who dug in that spot afterwards not too sure but uh, yeah the equinox can find very small gold it's just a matter of being patient with it you get to swing very slow very slow you're trying to listen for those crisp targets uh, even the deeper ones will give you a bit of a, a cleanish target it might be a bit scratchy on the uh, the target ID numbers but it'll still come through nice and clean as a, as a tone itself so never ride the Equinox 800 off if you have one and you got a 6 inch coil and you have a gold fields near you you can only give it a crack and see how you go uh, you see in the settings so good luck and happy swinging to you anyway thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed till next week salada